Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one rental at a time. We have Adrian Hernandez with us today. How you doing, buddy? Let's go. I'm alive. I'm excited. I'm ready to do this. It's it's Wednesday, but in I love Michael's motto because it's actually Saturday, right? Every day. Every day is Saturday. Saturday. Every day is Saturday. And again, just so people don't know where that came from, uh, I lived a life for 15 years where I traveled every Sunday, or at least four out of every five Sundays, and I was back on Friday. So for me, the only day that I had was a Saturday. So when I say every day is Saturday, it's kind of a look back to a time in my life where that's the only day I had. I now, it. every day is Saturday. So. Now, every day. <laughs> that's, that's where that came from. It I means, love the motto. It means something to me because I can, I can close my eyes and remember, you know, uh, anyways, it's fast. Enough. So, hey, what, what we're going to do here, Adrian, is I'm going to paint a purposely scary picture of a t sometime in the future. People can argue when and if this might happen. But then you and I are going to talk about what the hell do we do? You ready? Let's do it. Sounds fun. All right, so we are, first thing we're going to say is the mortgage rate, the 30-year mortgage rate, which owner-occupants get is 10%, not 4%. Uh, investors, your 30-year interest rate is 11 not 5 We are going to say we are uh, either in or just coming out of a nasty recession. It has maybe been 18 months in the making. Our unemployment rate is not 3.8, it is 9.8. What else can I throw out there to scare people? Um, I think I, gas prices, <laughs> gas prices have come down to six bucks a gallon. It can come down. You can come down, to, come down. <laughs> come down to six bucks a gallon, yeah. Uh, basically, uh, we, are, we are not in a good place. We're in a recession, uh, interest rates are up. Um, it's transactions undoubtedly in real estate are down. That's kind of the, that's kind of the no brainer. Like what's, what's going on in the world of real estate transactions are down in this environment. Um, Adrian, what do you think? And ask me some questions. Cause again, I want to paint this vision and then figure out how we operate in it. Got a little hot in this room. That's all. <laughs> a little <laughs> <uncomfortable>. <laughs> Sorry, putting myself in that position. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> what is going on? Uh, that's good. That's good. That would make a great movie, right? That'd make a great movie. Uh, well, the first thing is, right, it's not the strongest of the species that survives, right? Mm -hmm. It's the one that is most adaptable to change. So what I would say is looking at this, yeah. how do we change with it, right? Because rather we take this situation or we take, you know, it's funny that you painted this picture because I guarantee you like 10 years before 2007, 2008, had someone painted that picture, like, you're crazy. And then it happened, right? Yep. Oh, just dropped my pen. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> so looking at it now, right? Looking at it now, the, the biggest thing that I would be doing had, had we're in this scenario, right? Is getting very creative, getting adapting to what is going on. So if we're noticing that the interest rates are really high, if we're noticing that the transaction count is beyond below what it needs to be, right? We just came out of a nasty recession. Let's get creative. Let's adapt, right? Let's find a different place. If you guys have ever been into, you know, the jungle or the wild, you'll see a tree that's like, it, it somewhat fell over, but it still managed to grow. And even though it's not growing this way, it's still growing this way. Why? Because it was able to adapt. It maybe found a new location. So perhaps we're not having the same conversations that we're having today. Perhaps it's more of a, now it's not a price conversation. Now it's a term conversation. Rather than us calling for sale by owners than expired listings as real estate agents, maybe we are then calling or we are prospecting that avatar of that time. Right. So what yeah. would be the avatar of that time if we looked at it? And that's something that I want you to think about. Right? Yeah. You know, the the uh, those of you that are watching this, what yeah. would be the avatar of that time? And I would take a look at and another thing I would do is watch what other big businesses are doing in advance. A lot of these big businesses like Apple, like Facebook, like. You know. There's, we can look at a thousand others, right? You can even mm -hmm. look at your computers. You can look at Samsung, whatever any big yeah. organization does and start to follow those clues. Yeah. You know, I, I, would, I would see being adaptable in this change is the strongest force that you can carry yeah. and understand not to go back to the old ways of what used to work.
because that's not going to be the case anymore. So we're going to have to get highly creative and not just our marketing, but our approach and our pitch. Yeah, I think, I think I'm glad you went there because that's pretty much what we have to do, right? And oh, by the way, folks, some of you are not old enough to realize that mortgage rates used to be in the teens, right? Um, so, it, you know, it's, it's not like this is unheard of at 10%. And again, I'm not saying what happened. I just want to paint the vision because what we would do. So for example, the first thing I would probably do with my team, if I was going to go out and kind of direct market is I would go look for anybody that had purchased between 2020 and 2022, hmm. because in most cases, they are going to have 30 year money. And I would do everything I could to go find the people that, you know, that had that and then had life happen. Because what's going to happen when, unemployment goes from 3.8 to 9.8 or whatever the hell I said is some people are going to have to move or right. they'll have to change jobs or de de death and divorce. All of these life events still happen in a horrible economy. Yep. And if you've ever gone back and read real estate books from the eighties, which many of them are out of print, but I've, I've bought right. Some of them for hundreds of dollars. Um, it was all about creative financing. It wasn't about price. It was about terms. And, you know, yes, the mortgage industry has changed what they do uh, as far as calling loans and all of that. So the mortgages are different, but that, that is absolutely what I would be doing. Because again, in this environment, your move up, you're not going to, your move up buyers for the most part go away. Right. Right. So um, I think the other thing that happens in an environment like that is um, affordable homes, right? Builders, builders will come down. Because they're not going to get the move up buyers. They're not going to build the McMansions. They have to come down and build different supply. Yep. Um, it's, 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 it's interesting to think about. Because again, if you can make a deal work at 10%, all you got to do is hold on to that. Because again, rates will come down, right? Rates go up, rates come down. Rates go up, rates come down. The other thing that will happen is you'll undoubtedly see 40 and maybe even 50 year mortgages because the government wants a home ownership right? We'll want home ownership. Right. So there's, um, yeah, the biggest thing for me in an environment like that is transactions stop, the old way stops working. And uh, there'll be less real estate agents, there'll be less mortgage brokers, uh, all of that, but there'll be, the strong will get stronger. The people that are creative, or as you say, adapt, will win. And um, not that I'm calling for that time, but I'd be excited by it. Because again, I've, I've been, I've invested in lots of different cycles and that would be a new one for me. Yeah. I think the normal market as we know it would go away. Absolutely. And most agents, wholesalers, they're caught in that normal market. Yeah. They'd go bust. They would just, they, they would, they would not. So I, again, I saw this last time. Yes, you are exactly. so good. You are making so much money. Your ego is, you have to turn sideways to walk through a door. The market doesn't care. Nope. The market changes on you. Your overhead eats you alive. And pretty soon you realize that your cash flow statement means you're dead. Yep. And you've seen so many real estate agents who did not get creative, who did not even wholesale companies that went out of business, who chose not to get creative, which is why it happened. I saw personally so many friends and family that were stuck in that old school way of selling real estate. And in 2008, 9, 10, and 11, that was not the case. So unless you were changing with it, it was really hard for you, right? And those that changed with it, like Ty, he did the most amount of transactions he's ever sold in his entire career, right? In what, 2009? Yeah, I think Close so. Close to yeah. four, four or 500 transactions? That, that's all, just 400 transactions. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because he was able to get creative. So- you know, as we talk now in today's time, you know, everybody kind of look around and ask yourself, am I getting creative or am I stuck in the normal market? And for those of you that are agents working with buyers and sellers, you already know that that's, it's extremely difficult right now. Yeah. 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 The, the last thing kind of wrapping this up first episode, we talked about what we do different in 2010. That was awesome. Here we're painting a purposely scary picture just to highlight uh, that there's always opportunity. There's always opportunity. In in round three, we're going to talk about mindset because that is something that um, I didn't appreciate because I know how to work, but the mindset if the mindset's important and it's it's got me a few times. So Adrian, how can people find you? Yeah, you guys can find me on Instagram at Adrian Hernandez and or YouTube. Appreciate this, Michael. It's always you got fun. It. Thanks, buddy.